Good morning and welcome to the What's Up News Network being broadcast from Panama City Beach, Florida, the home of the world's most beautiful beaches. I am Jim Free with Jim Free Realty. Please click on the red subscribe button just below the picture. In the real estate market, we have 338 condo units available. 187 of those are on the Gulf Front. With the detached single family units, we have 224 available and 21 of those are Gulf Front. In the attached single family, we have 55 units available and 8 are on the Gulf Front. Out of some 11,000 Gulf Front units, we only have 216 available on the market, or about 2%. I'm getting a lot of calls daily from owners wanting to know how the political atmosphere is going to affect the real estate market. The truth of the matter is, I don't know. I believe the real estate market will remain strong, but I am worried about it is taxes and especially capital gains taxes. Everything depends on Georgia being able to keep Senators Purdue and Loeffler. If those two Senate seats go to the Democrats then all bets are off. My grandfather Tom Free lived to be 98 and he was a great influence on my life. While my dad was serving in World War II, my mom and I lived in the same house with my dad's parents. My grandfather didn't have a lot of formal education, but he was an avid reader, and during World War II, he had four of his boys fighting for our country, and he stayed on top of all the news. He was also quite a philosopher. He always prayed for his boys and his daughter, and gave thanks to the Lord for protecting them. In later years, my grandfather asked the Lord to prop up on his leaning side. One day I asked him why he was always asking the Lord to prop him up on his leaning side. He said, well, son, you know the old barn on our old home place had been leaning for years, and I tried to pop it, prop it up. It kept failing to keep it from falling. It had been there a long time. It has withstood a lot of weather. It has gone through a lot of storms and has stood for many years and is still standing. But one day I noticed it was leaning to one side a bit. So I went, got some poles and propped it up on its leaning side so it wouldn't fall. Then I got to thinking how much I was like that old barn. I have been around a long time. I have withstood a lot of life storms. I have withstood a lot of bad weather in my life. I have withstood a lot of hard times and I am still standing. But I find myself leaning to one side from time to time. So I will ask the Lord to prop me up on my leaning side. Sometimes we let sin creep into our lives and we start leaning toward our old sinful nature. So I like to ask the Lord to prop me up on my leaning side so I will stand straight for him. <clears throat> well, my grandfather's been dead now 38 years, and although he was bent over from hard work and was almost blind, I have no doubt that he is now standing straight and has perfect sight. Every year, the real estate company, we try to seek out some of the dumbest criminals and give them the Darwin Award. This year we have three that are in the running. When his 38 caliber revolver failed to fire at his intended victim during a holdup, Long Beach would-be robber James Elliott did something that can only inspire wonder. He peered down the barrel and pulled the trigger. This time it worked. There was a man that walked into a Louisiana Circle K, put a $20 bill on the counter and asked for change. When the clerk opened the cash drawer, the man pulled a gun and demanded the cash in the register, which the clerk promptly, promptly provided. The man took the cash from the clerk and fled from the store, leaving the $20 bill. 
the total amount of cash he got from the drawer was $15, leaving the Louisiana police to wonder if a robber, robber gives the victim money, is that a crime? Well, in New York, a female shopper exited a New York convenience store. A man grabbed her purse and ran. The clerk saw the theft and immediately called 911. The victim was able to give a good description of the snatcher and the police were able to apprehend him a few blocks away. They drove back to the store. The thief was taken out of the car and told to stand there for a positive ID, to which he replied, Yes, officer, that's her. That's the lady I stole the purse from. <clears throat> During a recent pandemic, a census worker from New York was loaned to the state of Georgia. She ended up driving down the Booger Holler Road, and as she spotted this tiniest cabin she had ever seen, it intrigued her. So she went up and knocked on the door. Anybody home, she asked. Yep, came a kid's voice through the door. Is your father there? Asked the census taker. Nope, he left before Ma came in, said the kid. Well, is your mother there? Nope, she left just after I got here. Are you never together as a family? Sure, but not here, this is the outhouse. I'm sure you are all overjoyed that the federal government will soon be handling our financial, educational, and med medical dilemmas. We're going through some difficult times now. Could it be that Patrick Henry had a vision of the future? He fought for our freedom from the British Empire. And he also had some reservations about the Constitution, as it was originally written, and he was instrumental in having the Bill of Rights adopted to, to the Constitution to protect the individual rights of its citizens. He was afraid that someday we would have a tyrannical president that would try to strip the powers from the states and place them with the federal government. He feared that the president would bypass the legislative and judicial branches of government and create a monarchy. Patrick Henry is remembered for the famous quote, his life so dear or so peace, so sweet as to purchase at the price of chains and slavery. Forbid it, almighty God. I know not what course others may take, but as for me, give me liberty or give me death. All those who signed the Declaration of Independence put their lives and their fortunes on the line, and hundreds of thousands of men and women had given their lives that we might enjoy freedom and have free and fair elections. We cannot forfeit these rights that others have paid so dearly for. Until we meet again, May God bless you, your family, and this great nation that we live in.